Okay, here we are yet again with another exciting tutorial. In uh, today's lesson, we're going to be doing FTP access to the up to par server. Whenever we bring on a new client, we always have a uh, collection of assets that we'd like to gather from past brochures to images to logos and, and such like this. And many times the files go way beyond the file size of an email. So we uh, give our clients uh, exclusive access to our servers uh, using FTP uh, file transfer protocol connection to our server to um, upload things. There's a variety of FTP clients that you can use, whether you're on an, a Mac or a PC or what have you. Um, some cost money and others are free. Um, and if you're anything like me, I love free stuff. So we're going to be using FileZilla today, and um, even though I am a Mac guy, I do have a virtual PC that we'll be doing the demo on. So I have uh, FileZilla uh, loaded, so that is FileZilla-project.org, and we want to download the client. So just going to click on this and see what it's asking me to do and it's asking me to do the recommended one so here we go all right so it's asking me to save the file so we'll let that save and let's go ahead and double click on it to install it and hit run I agree everything's good Fine, 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 fine. Whew, that was close. All right, now um, the next step we're going to need is the username and password to access our FTP. If you don't have one of these already, uh, give your rep a call and they will uh, provide you with one, um, giving you access to the FTP. Okay, so with this uh, launched or installed, um, this is what FileZilla looks like when it's all loaded. And now let's put the uh, credentials in to connect. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is load up uh, up to par. And a simple way to do this is just go ahead and visit the uh, website. So up to par marketing. Dot com. This way, if the page loads, everything looks good, then you know the server address is correct. So once that loads, we know that's correct, and you can copy the URL. And you don't need the HTTP colon backslash backslash www dot. You just put the uh, server name in there. And then you put the credentials that uh, the rep gave you as a web user. We're going to use Shenandoah as an example. And wouldn't you want to know what that password is? So you can leave the uh, port blank and just go ahead and hit Quick Connect. A bunch of magic happens, and it looks as though we've connected to it successfully. And basically, this is how it works. To the left is your desktop. To the right is the server, all right? So let me get a test image to show. My PC is pretty blank, so we will use some photography from our stock collection. And so I have my image on my desktop. which is right here, and just drag and drop. So drag and drop into the box off to the left, and this percentage sign down here is showing you how uh, much more is done. Um, and you can put as much stuff in there as you like. Being that this does take up space on the server, we ask that you let us know when everything's done so that we can download it and delete it. Try not to use this as a archiving system. We just want to use this for um, 
transferring files from your site to ours. And um, that's it. So, you know, once everything's done, then you can notify your rep to let them know all the files have been uploaded and um, we should be red to go.